the Chinese peace plan. Uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, uh, who has just been appointed to a unprecedented third term as China's president, is due to arrive in Moscow, where he'll have uh, discussions with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The scuttlebutt is that uh, the main thing they'll be discussing is a Chinese peace plan. Now, China has floated a, uh, a peace plan uh, that has been, if not dismissed by Russia, at least downplayed in terms of its possibilities. But that was what they call trial balloon. One thing we know is that senior diplomats, senior national leaders like Xi Jinping, don't fly to foreign capitals uh, and meet with foreign leaders unless the outcome of that meeting is certain. And so the fact that the Chinese president is flying to meet with the Russian president means that whatever the Chinese peace plan was, it's been modified, it's been massaged to be something different, something that China believes following the meetings with Vladimir Putin will enable the Chinese leader to have a video conference with the Ukrainian leader, President Zelensky, in which the Ukrainians will give him one last chance to bring this war to a negotiated end. Will the Chinese succeed? It's a, uh, it's a difficult problem, a lot of obstacles, only time will tell. But if the Chinese are able to get Vladimir Putin to agree to allow them to have a conversation with Zelensky, that means that there is a plan that Russia would accept. And my advice to President Zelensky is take the plan, save the lives of your citizens, save what's left of your territorial integrity, save the economic viability of your nation, bring this conflict to an end. Do the right thing. It's been my two-minute topic. Remember, knowledge is power.